Now we're just going to ask you to continue to stay tuned because in a very short while I will be speaking to representatives of both the ACN and PDP right here in the studio. Uh, now the election itself was characterized by poor turnout even though there were a couple of areas where turnout was uh, a bit impressive. Let's just take you back now with this report from our correspondent Lou Phillips who covered some parts of the state during the election. Take a look at his report. According to the guidelines released by the Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission, elections are built to take place across 20 local government areas and 37 local council development areas. So, on that strength, we are here on the streets. As early as 8 a.m., electorate started trickling to polling units, and one notable side is the late arrival of materials to some of the units. Me going home and come back is a lot of distance. So it's better for me to wait and do my and perform my civil rights. After that, I'll go home. Because I said you are created. After you are created, you put immediately. Then you go home. The only fear I've got is the light signal coming out earlier, like the previous elections we've had. By now, some people have done accreditation, some has gone back to come back by 12 o'clock, but this process is quite different. You can see even for now, this is past almost 1030. They've not been here. So this is just causing a, a, a doubt about their performances. All of that notwithstanding, from Ikeja to Sululere, Shomulu, Yaba, accreditation and voting went on hitch free. In Sululere local government, the governor and his wife showed up at this polling unit to vote and made a strong pronouncement against electoral manipulations. We've planned for the worst. We are hoping for the best to ensure that we have hitch free elections, violence free elections, because we will punish electoral offenders. Okay. Uh, we are determined to do that, to ensure that, to, to, to send the message that this process is important for our livelihoods and that we will not look lightly or kindly upon those who try to subvert or interfere, interfere with it. When we started 8 a.m. this morning, according to the stipulation of the Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission, what we saw was quite disheartening in terms of the turnout of people. A lot of people expressed apathy about the process, but we are happy that as we dug deep into the streets, we're beginning to see some level of livelihood and people coming out of mess to vote. We are in somewhere in Shomolu, and voting is going on to the left and to my right. Some young men are quite relaxing after what they call a hard day of voting, hard day's job of voting and going through a peaceful process of casting their vote. All of the people in this environment are coming out to say one thing, that is we need changes. And that change is going to come up today. That means our, uh, uh, the, the council in our world is going to be changed today. I think I'm saying sense right here. determined to use the power of their vote to bring about a change in the environment. That's what really this election is all about. From Shomoli area, this is Olu Phillips reporting for Channel Television News. Well, no doubt with what is emerging now, some people have actually not got the change they were asking for. Or I really don't know. Now, I also went out during the election as well, covering the Okorodu access. Here's a couple of sound bites I got you know, in the course of covering the election. Take a look. You know, this uh, local government, they choose somebody for us, and which you don't want. That's why I can't see people around now. Okay. Because our local government chairman doesn't do anything here. Look at my street. See it. Nothing was drawn about four years ago. Wh where's your street? Let this is my street. See? This, nothing was drawn at all. See, for four years, as a chairman of local government, so it doesn't have any benefit from it. this local government. Could local government no? It could do central. Local government doesn't have any benefit here at all. Arolo seat number no, this is Arolo seat. See, as we done, the chairman came here. We told him he said we are pouring pure water on the street, which is wrong. It's not. It's not fine. It's not fine at all. <laughs> so 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 they, they impose the candidate on you. Is that what you're trying? We to don't say? want. We do as for me as for this street. We don't want that man. That's why you see people doesn't come out. Because former, all of us here, we have ACN. Now it's not possible for anyone to come out. Because they don't want him. 
So t tell me, whoever wins this election now, yes. what exactly would you want the person to do? To, to do my seat and do the, all the seat from here down to re all this, this, this seat, it's a ring road. All of I could do down to Ayangu Road there, it's a ring road. This holding this seat. I know myself that this one belongs to Lagos Le government. But all the seats belong to local government. government. Nothing was done. What thing was done? Did all the seat. Nothing was done at all. So today you, you, you voted. It's like you, it's a protest vote, right? Yes. I don't I put, I don't, I don't want to dispose that. I already fought. I don't want any dispose with that. I vote no, what, what, what I want. Uh, what I who I need, I vote for the person. Maybe it can enter or it doesn't want uh, enter. It doesn't enter. But I vote for the person I like. I like. You're waiting to cast your vote. Um, quite a number of people waiting to cast their vote here. And then you take a look at the ballot box. It's almost filled up. It suggests uh, some people would have come earlier in the day to vote. And uh, wh what do you think is responsible for this huge turnout in Ibisha Town? Uh, when uh, Mr. Deji, bad uh, people you can see now, people have been turning up a little bit by voting. Actually, the crowd you see today is really more than this. It's only because people are disappointed one way or the other by the local government chairman. Actually, what we are seeing today now, people are not voting for the chairman. They are voting for the local, for the local, for the Lagos State government that who are responsible in this area. Because Lagos State government, they are very kind of people and they are taking care of people in this area. You can see. So we are voting for the party, not an individual. Okay, you, you're a candidate in this election. Are you very optimistic you're going to win this election? Uh, well, uh, I'm very optimistic because we know the Lagos is performing and Lagos has a brighter rewarding future for the people. So the Lagos has its own agenda, he has his own plan, he has his own initiative, he has his own program and policies. For the people of Lagos, it's, these are the things that makes me to be assured that I'm going to win the election. So it means you're going to win not because you have performed, just because the state government has performed. Well, actually, well, I have performed extensively too. To to a certain extent. Well, I hope that by now that chairman would have found out uh, the extent uh, his work has been able to, if, if the extent of his work now has been able to get him uh, re-elected. But it would surprise you to know the stress some people had to go through just to cast their votes during the election. Now, you could call this true patriotism, if you like. Just take a look. right inside the street over there and that the only means of getting there is uh, by the local canoe here. So we're going to take a canoe to get to one of the polling units there just to give you a sense of what people around here go through just to cast their vote. We boarded our vessel. We were paddled through the flooded streets. We saw flooded homes, flooded shops, and the people who have resigned to fate and didn't seem to bother. Within minutes, the polling unit was in sight. Not surprising at all that voters turnout here was low. Some had still braved the odds cast their vote in the hope that whoever becomes the chairman of their local government will do something about their plight. But hope, that's all they've got. Right here I have uh, Mr. Joe Gwokwe, who is a spokesperson of the Action Congress here in Lagos State. Uh, Mr. Gwokwe, thank you very much for coming Good on the program. Just, just before I, I ask you what I'm going to ask you, I want you to take a listen now to um, you know, one of the protesters at uh, Ikoyo Balende local government area where your party is being accused to uh, you know, have rigged the election there. The, the, the P PDP, can, the PDP uh, members now are protesting as we speak at that local government, uh, uh, local council development area. As a matter of fact, they are keeping a vigil there. Let us take a listen now to this man and what he has to say against the ACN. Listen. We are going to block this way road because we are fighting for our rights. We want our rights. We, let me say something, you know. We want we to give us to the people. Yesterday, they brought the polling bus in some area around 12. And people said they want change. But at the end of the day, people vote for their right person, for their choice. What would they deny us? Yesterday night, they even caught the 
Kasu manager. Tom Pretty in the office. Yes. Is that right? Yesterday, all the um, electro officers, they are here. But, 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 but unfortunately, we could not see four and the, they were two out. their head. They are 12. But since then, the eight, the eight others, they are here. And we are prepared there inside. They are, sit, they, are, they are sitting down inside. Everybody knows what is going on because we know what is here. That's why you could see PDP a year for Fossil stay. Kept and we are all here since. That's why you could see. We slept, we slept, we slept, here. We slept here. You we slept see, you could see the outer community. You could see. You could see. You could see. You could see the outer community. Slamo for the right. You could see the Igbo. Slamo for the right. You could see the Yoruba. Slamo for the right because the indigenous of Etiopia, Ikoyi Obalenye, especially Obalenye and Ikoyi. They want changes and they want the vote for their right choice. Why would they deny them? That's why we are happy. All Nigerians, all Nigerians, they could see that in Lagos, in Lagos, they manipulate. That's why the